Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to quickly check on the tropical waves, then we're going to look at some new science from sunspots to the solar wind. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star where things were quiet. One M-class flare of note, it was impulsive, though. No significant CME. We did see a big CME release on the north with the plasma filament snap, but it's not aimed at Earth. We've got sunspots and other eruption threats, and the dark coronal holes are incoming behind them. Earthquake watch is coming with those, and so we need to guess when these interplanetary magnetic fields will interact with the Earth. Looking like another two to four days will magnetically connect. We'll be watching for that, and its solar wind would be arriving about two days after that. Of course, we'll be monitoring for those eruptions. This was the filament snap yesterday. It was a gorgeous vortex eruption. Luckily, again, this one is not coming at Earth. Let's go back to weather where we're seeing several areas on alert here. This is the strongest tropical moisture wave right now, and alerts are beginning to come from it. We'll have eyes on this area in the days ahead. Up next, we're at Super Zoom, high cadence shots from Iris. Lockheed's epic instrument gets little hype, but it's the best sun zooming camera we have. What I want you to see is the pulses like waves within the dark sunspot. That's the sunspot heartbeat, and it's a steady oscillation of plasma pulsing vertically within the altitude column above the sunspot. Veterans probably remember that one. Well, now they've been able to track the motion of those pulses from the photospheric surface layer up to the chromosphere, which is like an atmospheric boundary layer here on Earth, except this one's with plasma and magnetic fields, and it's on the sun. Epic preprint on archive in your list today. Lastly, on the article front, it's footage from the new hype video for NASA's punch mission. Their goal is to tie up loose ends in their understanding of the solar wind, from its leaving the corona to its ballooning of the heliosphere. Punch will fill the final gap in sun to final space weather tracking, and if we're lucky, it will help them see how much particle and magnetic energy is actually coming to Earth in the solar wind. Then maybe they'll add it into climate models and I'll win Powerball and people will stop dyeing their hair blue. Yeah. Folks, most of you know by now that our documentary is coming out later this year. Our sponsor, goldobservers.com, is a company of observers. Whether it's for economic safety or protection against inflation or a barter good or radiation shielding if you're smart and creative in the catastrophe, every serious prepper I know has gold or silver. Let some fellow observers help you catch up with the rest of us. Goldobservers.com. At Observer Ranch, we've got our monthly pole shift conference this weekend at ObserverRanch.com. Check out the events page, the Observer Bot, our books and merchandise, and of course, book your reservation to come see us. Love to shake your hand in person, and it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.